A classroom of seven-year-olds have been given a lesson in gender theory at a New South Wales mm. public school, and experts have hit back saying teachers must not peddle their personal views in the classroom. Tanya, why does this emerge so often in the news? Mark Latham's been running uh, the front on, on the front of this and he's been getting a lot of information from parents. They are fed up with this stuff. Look, Chris, I don't think it's appropriate for a seven-year-old uh, to be taught gender theory in the classroom. Uh, you know, most seven-year-olds still believe in Santa and in the tooth theory. Uh, they should be taught to uh, learn to read and write in the classroom and after class they should be able to play on the bike, you know, run around in the park and have fun. Uh, most uh, seven-year-olds, if you speak to them and ask them, you know, what, how do they feel, they'll tell you they feel like having an ice cream. They feel like yes. having fun. Uh, you know, here's a novel idea. Let kids be kids. You know, yeah. I, as a parent, I've got to say I'm a bit tired of this stuff too. I'm tired of it as well. Surely any kind of gender instruction... And, Carolyn, I'm not talking about seven-year-olds, but maybe in high school, has got to be signed off on by parents because I would have thought that's an area where instruction should be their thing. That's their job. Well, I feel like that there is creeping into the, the territory of parenting. And I say that as someone who doesn't have children. So I'm assuming that that there is the area that parents would, would prefer to deal with themselves. Um, but in a broader context, we, we are talking about cohorts of kids now where the standards of education are dropping and we are spending more money than ever on education yeah. and we are getting progressively worse outcomes. So can we focus on literacy and numeracy and getting our kids ready for a global jobs economy and instead of trampling on the territory of parents? Well said.